everyone, welcome back to Storytime with Josh. Today we are going to read Ocean Sunlight, How Tiny Plants Feed Seeds by Molly Bank and Penny Chislam. Ocean Sunlight, How Tiny Plants Feed the Seeds by Molly Bank and Penny Chislam. Dive into the sea. Now flip over slowly and look up. The water is shimmering with light. My light. I am your sun, your golden star. All ocean life depends on me. So does all life on land. Forests, prairies, and your gardens. Green plants catch my sunlight energy. They pump in water from the ground and pull in carbon dioxide from the air. Plants use my energy to build these molecules into sugar. All the while, the plants send oxygen into the air. The oxygen you breathe. This is photosynthesis. Plants making life with, with light. My light. Animals, yes. Animals like you eat the plants or you eat other animals that have eaten plants. You are links in food chains, the chains of life. And as you eat, you break apart the sugar from the plants. Crack, crack, and use its energy, my energy, to live. You breathe out carbon dioxide and the plants pull it back in. Everything is connected. All ocean life is part of food chains too. And every ocean food chain starts when plants catch my light. But where are the ocean plants? The seaweeds you find growing along the shore feed some sea creatures living there. But in the vast open ocean far from land, do you see seaweed forests, seaweed gardens, seaweed prairies? No! You see no green at all, none. In, in the open ocean, you see only blue water. Then, where are the ocean's green plants? They're right before your eyes. They're everywhere in countless shapes and sizes. But they're so small you need a microscope to see them. A billion, billion, billion of these tiny plants. That's one in 27 zeros are drifting in your seeds. They are called phyboplankton. Phyboplankton form the great invisible patch here of the sea. Take a deep breath. Half the oxygen you breathe every day comes from green plants on land. The other half is bubbling out of all the tiny phyboplankton floating in your seas. Phyboplankton can grow very fast if it has enough light and nutrients one phyboplankton can grow and become two. In just a day or so, it splits into identical twins. Day one, day three, day five, day seven, day nine. So the billion, billion, billion phyboplankton in the ocean to make another billion, billion, billion of themselves every few days. And just as fast as they make more of themselves, they're gobbled up. Animals, mostly tiny ones called zooplankton, eat about a billion, billion, billion phyboplankton every day. So phyboplankton numbers stay about the same as zooplankton grow and make more of themselves. Bigger creatures gobble them up about as fast as they are made. And so it goes my light energy. First caught by phyboplankton, flows through the ocean's chain of life from the tiniest green plants to the biggest fish or whale. 
But here's a puzzle for you. My light cannot reach deeper than the ocean's fin top layer. So that is where the phytoplankton have to live. The deep, cold waters underneath are pitch black, dark, darker than the darkest, moonless, starless night. Phytoplankton cannot live there. But lots of animals do. Where do these animals get their food? Some use their glowing lights to lure animals and eat them. Some eat each other. Some swim up at night to feed on fibroplankton. Others wait. They wait for snow. This snow isn't made of ice. Green snow is tiny flakes from living things as animals and phytoplankton live and die. Their poop and mucus carcasses and guts sink down and down like falling flakes of snow. Marine snow is nutritious food for bacteria and other creatures living in the sunless belly of the sea. Nothing goes to waste. As bacteria and animals eat the falling snow, they break it down and push leftover nutrients and carbon dioxide out into the black, deep sea waters. But wait! Phytoplankton all live in the sunlight surface waters miles above. They need those nutrients to make more of themselves. And with about more phytoplankton, the ocean animals will die. How can those deep, dark waters rich with nutrients rise all those miles back up into the light so that the phytoplankton can use them once again? I, your son, pour my light onto earth each day. My sunlight powers winds that build great storms that mix and mix the water layers of, of the seas. My light helps drive enormous currents. They thrust the deep sea water to reach up nutrients and carbon dioxide up, 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 all the way back up to the sun-filled topmost layer where the billion, billion, billion phytoplankton pull those nutrients and carbon dioxide in again and catch my lichen. Now they can keep my sunlight energy flowing, ever flowing through new chains of life. I am your sun. My light gives life to your to your green earth and to your deep and restless seas. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.